doesn't tend to look for her jump shot. It does not affect her ability to create offensively, though. Here is Harper, another look at three this time. And so they had two back waiting for her. Top 10 scorer in the Big Ten this season after a career low at Rutgers last year. Warnock gets loose. That's not what you want if you're Purdue. So concerned about Iowa scoring in transition, nobody was there to get an offensive rebound. Everybody was back. Underneath, A.J. Ediger kicks it out to Martin, and she drains it. The All-American as the clock ticks down to five. Beautiful give and go, and a three to ignite this crowd. Team that's 10 and 2 this season got off the best non conference record since Katie Gerald's freshman year. And there's Caitlin Clark with her second three tonight. Petrie also misfires two for eight. And he's the Boilermakers from beyond the arc. And there is Sinano, exquisite footwork, and she finished. So they need a little more attacking. They're settling for those jumpers over defenders right now. A lot of one on one action happening. Petrie is two of nine compared to Iowa because Caitlin Clark can go any direction on you at any time Martin into the paint a lot of black jerseys that leaves open Caitlin Clark and she drills the three Sedano doesn't always get to set up Caitlin Clark to pay her back for all those shots that she's led her into but she did there about her Purdue teams is how they battle the grit that they play with. But Warnock left wide open again for three. Eight threes in this game for the Hawkeyes. Deja vu all over again. Purdue being more patient in its half-court offense. Harden is trying to make things happen herself in this second half. Sinano missing from the short corner. She's stuck at five points. She's six away from 2,000 for her career. Petrie launching the three. In the same season, so keeping a close eye, but uncharacteristic of her, two of six today. Abby Ellis, the Euro off glass to perfection. Already with seven rebounds, you talked about the double-double she's had that don't have anything to do with points. Caitlin Clark. Just all that she has been through, the strength, the inspiration that this young woman is. She's recovering from, among other injuries, a traumatic brain injury. And Iowa cleans it up. Clark threading the needle. Gabby Marshall, the easy finish. Beautiful in feeding the ball ahead to Marshall. It is so exciting to watch Brenda. You never know what kind of magic she's going to have with the ball in her hands as she does right there. on the ground there off the miss three six rebounds five assists on seven of 16 shooting typical night at work for Caitlin Clark flying in Jayla Smith for the Boilermakers and I know this is a comfortable lead but this Purdue team does have the ability to hit threes but they have to be able to stop the work of Stolke in the paint. <laughs> but a good warning for Hannah Stolke. Yeah, exactly. They didn't want Stolke <laughs> to get her pocket picked from behind and the entire crowd on this side of the court made sure they let her know there was a defender coming. Get to get some minutes across their bench. Stolke with the stop, but sticking with it is Smith, who's having a great contest in her second season. And this is what she's turned it into. Underneath is Caitlin Harper putting it away as we approach 2.30 on the clock. Set to improve to 3-0 and in conference play before they take on Illinois. And Brenda, that is a sneaky team as a falter herself sneaks through the lane. What she can to help them be a championship team. Sydney, a falter, everyone getting in on the party. They have set that... Uh, Ignominious stat, 34% as Petrie drains the three. 
The final here at Carver Hawkeye Arena, 83 to 68, an all around top to bottom tremendous effort by the Hawkeyes who improve. Oh, <laughs>